Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Gearfold puzzle. Uh, you have uh, seen Gearfold uh, in a different video and this is the improved uh, version. So first of all, let me explain to you how it works. We have a set of uh, gears and they can turn all together. But what you can do is you can fold one side away and then only that side uh, turns or you can fold the top away and then only the top turns and of course once you get uh, the puzzle scrambled uh, the, uh, the goal is to get all the uh, needles pointing north again so the previous version that I had uh, it used uh, this as a base and the problem with that base it was a bit floppy when you put it down uh, it wanted to uh, uh, stand like a bit of a sphere instead of uh, just flat and also when you make um, when you are folding it you could also fold it a bit in the other direction so it was a bit floppy so my solution to that uh, problem you can see in the back what I did was I added these little stacks and if you see when I make a rotation you see that these lock into each other so if I want to then do a fold in the other direction it blocks so when I unfold it you can also fold in this direction so it's because of this mechanism that suddenly the puzzle has become much more stable so I'm uh, very happy with the result I think I finally have a gear fold that works uh, properly and uh, as it should my question to you is about uh, the gears and the number of teeth as you can count uh, this one this one this one this one and that one those five gears each have seven teeth these four gears each have five teeth so the number of teeth is different but uh, my question to you is uh, if I would have taken a different number of teeth, for instance 5 and 8, would that work? Or 6 and 9? Or uh, 10 and 11? And actually there is an equation that describes what should be the relationship between this gear, the number of teeth, and that one. And my question to you is, what is that equation? Thank you for watching.